colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, can run in families. Knowing your family's health history is vital in making informed decisions about your health. Approximately 25%, or one out of every four colorectal cancer patients, have a family history of colorectal cancer. But 75% of patients have no family history, so on-time and regular screenings are important for everyone. Having a family history of colorectal cancer, or a family member who has had certain types of polyps, increases your risk for colorectal cancer. So what should you ask grandma at the next Sunday dinner, or Uncle Cal during the next family cookout? Often, the hardest part of starting a conversation about your family history is knowing the first question to ask. Start with something straightforward. Has anyone in our family had colon, rectal, or any other types of cancer? Be sure to specify colon or rectal cancer, as many people won't want to mention colons and rectums. Working through the stigma is hard, but can be life-saving. Your chance of developing colorectal cancer increases significantly if there is a history of it in your family. Plus, a history of many different types of cancer in your family could indicate an inherited genetic condition, such as Lynch syndrome. Has anyone had polyps removed during a colonoscopy? If a first-degree relative, such as a parent, a sibling, or a child, has had certain types of polyps or non-cancerous tumors removed, you may have an increased risk for colorectal cancer. If polyps come up in your conversation with your family member, talk to your doctor about earlier screening options that would be right for you. If you are not in contact with your immediate family or don't have their medical history, be sure to learn the signs and symptoms of colorectal cancer. Be open with your doctor if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. So what should you do if you have a family history of colorectal cancer or certain types of colorectal polyps? You should begin colorectal cancer screening before the age of 45. Ideally, 10 years younger than the age your family member was when they were diagnosed or a polyp was detected. For example, let's say when your mom was 50 years old, she had a precancerous polyp removed during her first screening colonoscopy. Recommendations say you should start screening at the age of 40. One more example. Let's say your brother Dave was diagnosed with early stage colorectal cancer when he was 41. Recommendations say you, and his children, should start screening at the age of 31. Even if you don't have a family history of colorectal cancer, talking with your family and following screening recommendations helps keep you in control of your health. Colorectal cancer is a highly preventable and treatable disease when detected early. To learn more about how your family history can impact your risk for colon cancer, check out our website at www.coloncancercoalition.org.